On a clear night, if you look into the sky, have you ever wondered that there might be a Earth-like planet somewhere in the universe? This video is about 10 such planets, that scientists found recently with the possibility of existing liquid water and other environmental conditions that could support extraterrestrial life. An exoplanet or extrasolar planet is a planet outside the solar system. The first confirmation of detection of an exoplanet was occurred in 1992. Since then, scientists has found number of exoplanets from different constellations. Number 10. Wolf 1061c. Wolf 1061c or WL1061c is an exoplanet orbiting within the habitable zone of the red dwarf star Wolf 1061 in the constellation Ophiuchus, about 13.8 light years from Earth. This fifth closest, known and potentially habitable exoplanet has an orbital period of 17.9 Earth days and classified as a super-Earth exoplanet as its estimated radius is greater than 1.5 of Earth's. Wolf 1061c is thought to be a rocky planet with an estimated mass about 4.3 times that of Earth and a density either near or possibly higher than Earth. It has an estimated surface gravity of 1.6 times that on Earth. In astronomical terms, the Wolf 1061 system is relatively close to Earth, at only 13.8 light-years away. The planet's orbital distance of 0.084 astronomical units and as a result, it is likely to be tidally locked and possibly the temperature around the Terminator line could be suitable for liquid water to exist. Number 9. Captain B. Captain B is an exoplanet that orbits within the habitable zone of the red subdwarf Captain star, located approximately 12.8 light-years from Earth. Captain B is a super-Earth, a planet that has a radius and mass bigger than that of Earth. It has a surface temperature of minus 68 Celsius degree and the mass greater than or equal to 4.8 of Earth's. The radius is less than or equal to around 1.6 as the Earth does. Captain B makes a complete orbit around its parent star with about 1.2 percentage of the Sun's luminosity about every 48.62 days at a distance of 0.17 astronomical units. Even though this rocky planet having frozen temperate, as the atmosphere rich with carbon dioxide, it's believed that the liquid water could exist as it could rise the temperate to support liquid water existence due to the greenhouse effect. Number 8. TRAPPIST-1d. TRAPPIST-1d, is a small exoplanet with the mass about 30% the mass of the Earth, which orbits on the inner edge of the habitable zone of the ultra-cool dwarf star TRAPPIST-1, approximately 40 light-years away from Earth in the constellation of Aquarius. TRAPPIST-1d is a closely orbiting planet, with one full orbit taking just 4.05 Earth days to complete and it orbits at a distance of just 0.02228 astronomical units from the host star. In some respects, TRAPPIST-1d is one of the most Earth-like exoplanets found. While being significantly smaller, it receives about the same amount of irradiation as Earth and appears to be very similar in temperature as well. It does not have a large hydrogen-based atmosphere, which would render the planet uninhabitable if one were to exist. The planet may also have liquid water, up to about 250 times more water than all of Earth's oceans. TRAPPIST-1d has one of the highest Earth similarity indexes of any known exoplanet, at 0.91. While the planet is most likely tidally locked, its atmosphere could be enough to transfer heat around the planet and keep the climate stable. Number 7. TRAPPIST-1e. TRAPPIST-1e, almost Earth-sized exoplanet orbiting within the habitable zone around the ultra-cool dwarf star TRAPPIST-1, this is one of another planets in TRAPPIST-1 planetary system. Apart from TRAPPIST-1d and e, there are two more exoplanets that are orbiting in the habitable zone of TRAPPIST-1 star, namely TRAPPIST-1f and trappist one gr these exoplanets were found by using the transit method, in which the dimming effect that a planet causes as it crosses in front of its star is measured. TRAPPIST-1e orbits its host star quite closely. One full revolution around TRAPPIST-1 takes only 6.099 Earth days to complete. The planet is likely tidally locked, with one side of its hemisphere permanently facing towards the star, while the opposite side is shrouded in eternal darkness. 
the temperature around the terminator line could support the existence of liquid water. More detailed studies of TRAPPIST-1e and the other TRAPPIST-1 planets released in 2018 determined that the planet is one of the most Earth-sized worlds found, with 91% of the radius, 77% of the mass, 102.4% of the density, and 93% of the surface gravity. Number 6. Kepler-1229b. Kepler-1229b is a confirmed super-Earth exoplanet, likely rocky, orbiting within the habitable zone of the red dwarf star Kepler-1229, located about 870 light-years from Earth in the constellation of Cygnus. This super-Earth orbits its host star with about 4% of the Sun's luminosity every 86.83 days at a distance of 0.29 astronomical units. The planet is likely tidally locked, where the temperatures may be suitable along the Terminator line for liquid water to existence. Number 5. Ross 128b Ross 128 is a red dwarf in the constellation of Virgo, near Beta Virginis star. The distance of this star from Earth is 11.007 light-years. It has 15% of the mass of the Sun and 21% of the Sun's radius, but generates energy so slowly that it has only 0.033% of the Sun's visible luminosity. This red dwarf is significant as it has its own planetary system with an orbiting exoplanet, Ross 128b. Ross 128b, Earth-size exoplanet was discovered in 2017 by measuring changes in radial velocity of the host star. It's known as the second closest exoplanet, after planet Proxima b as a calculated planet Ross 128b has a minimum mass of 1.35 times the Earth, and orbits 20 times closer to its star than Earth orbits the Sun, intercepting only about 1.38 times more solar radiation than Earth. The planet is most likely tidally locked, meaning that one side of the planet would have eternal daylight and the other would be in darkness. Ross 128b therefore most likely contains rock and iron, and it was concluded that Ross 128b is a temperate exoplanet in the inner edge of the habitable zone. Number 4. Proxima Centauri b Proxima Centauri b is identified as the closest known exoplanet orbiting in the habitable zone of the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri, which is the closest star to the Sun. This triple star system is located approximately 4.2 light-years away from the Earth in the constellation of Centaurus. This was discovered in the year of 2016 and as it calculated the exoplanet, Proxima Centauri b is orbiting the star at a distance of roughly 0.05 astronomical units. The estimated mass of the planet is at least 1.3 times that of the Earth and orbital period is estimated as approximately 11.2 of Earth days. The exoplanet is orbiting within the habitable zone of Proxima Centauri. As it's believed to be tidally located to its host star, around Terminator Line, the temperate may favorable for the existence of liquid water on its surface. However, the planet is subject to stellar wind pressures of more than 2,000 times those experienced by Earth from the solar wind and several more potentially hazardous physical conditions. Number 3. Kepler 452b. Kepler-452b is an exoplanet sometimes quoted to be an Earth's cousin which is orbiting a Sun-like star, Kepler-452 about 1,402 light-years away from Earth in the constellation Cygnus. It was found by NASA's Kepler Space Telescope on July 2015 and observed that the planet is orbiting in the habitable zone of the host star. The probable mass of Kepler 452b is five times that of Earth, and its surface gravity has calculated as is nearly twice as Earth's. It is most likely a super-Earth with many active volcanoes due to its higher mass and density. The clouds on the planet would be thick and misty, covering much of the surface as viewed from space. The planet takes 385 Earth days to orbit its star and the and the surface temperature is estimated to be at 120 degree delicious. Scientists with the SETI Institute have already begun targeting Kepler 452b, the first near-Earth-size world found in the habitable zone of a Sun-like star. Number 2. Gliese 667cc 
Gliese 667 cc is an exoplanet orbiting within the habitable zone of the red dwarf star Gliese 667 c, which is a member of the Gliese 667 triple star system, approximately 23.62 light-years away in the constellation of Scorpius. Gliese 667 cc is identified as a super-Earth, an estimated a minimum mass of about 3.7 Earth masses with an orbital period of 28.155 Earth days long. Based on its host star's bolometric luminosity, GJ 667 cc would receive 90% of the light Earth does while having a semi-major axis of 0.1251 astronomical units. The planet is likely tidally locked, with one side of its hemisphere permanently facing towards the star, while the opposite side is shrouded in eternal darkness and it might exist liquid water around the Terminator line. Number 1. Kepler 442b. Kepler 442b is a confirmed near-Earth-sized exoplanet, likely rocky, orbiting within the habitable zone of the K-type main-sequence star Kepler 442. This planetary system is about 1206 light-years away from Earth and can be seen in the constellation Lyra. Kepler 442b was discovered by NASA on January 2015. The estimated mass of the planet is at least 2.34 times that of the Earth and orbital period is estimated as approximately 112.3 of Earth days with an orbital radius of about 0.4 times that of Earth's. The surface gravity on Kepler 442b would be 30% stronger than that of Earth, assuming a rocky composition similar to that of Earth. The planet was announced as being located within the habitable zone of its star, a region where liquid water could exist on the surface of the planet. It was described as one of the most Earth-like planets, in terms of size and temperature. Scientists all around the world are keep on searching for new planetary systems or exoplanet with the existence of liquid water and other environmental conditions favorable for habitability. However, one of a major concern facing is the distance from Earth for such exoplanet. Let us know what you think on future exploration, will it be succeeded of finding of an exoplanet suitable for expanding human civilization to another level? Or would it better to heal and save our blue planet, let us know in below comment section. Subscribe Vauxhall Street for more interesting videos.